and welcome back to Chaos in the Kitchen. This week we are taking a field trip out to the grill. Um, so today I'm going to make you a super quick and easy summer dish. Um, one of my all-time favorite little friends that I have found are the El Fresco chicken sausage. Today I have roasted garlic and spinach and feta. There's multiple flavors. These are just the favorites in my household. And then we're also going to have some pineapple. We are going to make little, uh, little kebabs. So you can find in the store little uh, bamboo sticks. These are rather large and in charge. I don't think we need them this big. So we just, you know, all that working out that we've been doing, we snapped them in half. So. You can make them smaller if you'd like. You can try with scissors, but it didn't work. Just use your muscles. All right, so we have already started the grill. It's getting warmed up. Um, I really don't know if you need tin foil, but just if you have it, great. Um, and I think same thing with the cooking spray. I think you're supposed to spray this on there. So just, whoops, not on the phone. Whoopsie daisy. Um, so these little bad boys right here, we're gonna cut them up each one is filled with protein. Um, they have seven grams of protein per link and really all, all you should need is one link each time. We're going to kind of cut them. These are already fully cooked, so you don't need to worry about making sure you have a thermometer and making sure that it is cooked to 165 degrees or what not um, basically we're just warming these up with the grill also the pineapple gives you a nice little sweet uh, flavor to these you could grill other uh, fruit as well um, also if you're prepared which i'm not because this week has been a little hectic starting to get ready for everyone to come back and join us on campus um, but if I was a little bit more prepared, I would probably add probably some peppers, some onions. If you like mushrooms, great. You could add those too. Um, I would barf. I don't eat mushrooms, so I'm not gonna add those to mine. Um, but you could definitely add some summer squash or some zucchini, things like that. So, easy peasy, ready? This is a Jenna recipe. All you have to do, stick, Grab the stick, put it on, grab, oops, run away. Grab some pineapple. Now there is an art to the pineapple. You wanna make sure um, that you're getting it, what is it, the horizontal? No, the vertical way, otherwise it won't, oh, look at that, beautiful. Okay, guess what, I actually need more. I probably could have used the longer stick, but that's okay. All right, so. Bing, bang, boom. You're gonna just do this so on and so forth. Ooh, ta-da. And we'll just do a couple more and then we'll head out to the grill. Are we still liking these cooking demos? Are we finding them helpful? I think when the academic year actually starts, you're gonna see some fresh new faces I'm going to have some of the fantastic wellness interns do a few of these. So you'll get to see some more, some more friends and different, okay. If you cut them in half, you don't wanna use the side that you split it with because then you might get a splinter in your tooth. That wouldn't be good. Well, can you even get a splinter in your tooth? Splinter in your gum, whatever, you know what I meant. Chaos in the kitchen, it's all good. Okay, now that we are outside and our grill is already preheated, if that's a word, right? You preheat an oven, I think you preheat a grill. I don't know. I have no clue what the temperature should be on. Mine is a, a, a steaming or a steaming word. Mine's a hot 500 degrees. All right, so we're gonna try to do this without burning ourselves. Basically, I'm just going to plop these. Well, bam, I think that worked. <laughs> Okay, so I'm probably supposed to have like tongs of some sort. I don't really know. That looks nice and cute. I'm gonna put this down. 
we're just gonna wait maybe we should do some jumping jacks or our push-ups I don't know what we do while we're waiting but 99 100 101 102 <laughs> okay Let's see how they're doing. I have no clue how many minutes these are supposed to be on. I think we're just gonna check them. Remember, the chicken sausage is already fully cooked, so we're just warming it up. And I, I probably need tongs, but I don't have any. <laughs> okay. Woo! Let's see, let's see. Flip her. Whoa! She'd be hot. Okay, yep. Definitely need some type of tongs. But. It's okay, it's okay, we're doing good. It smells good. I think I should get a dollar for every time I say that. It smells good. Woo! Okay. They're not done yet, they're not done yet. I'm not doing 103 more push-ups. 207, 208, 209, 210. Okay, let's see how it looks. I was able to go find a spatula, it's not tongs, but let's see if it'll do. Okay. Yep, she still be hot. It's hot in there. Oh, okay. All right. I'm starting to sweat. I should only be sweating in the gym, not by the grill. Oh! I think I'm doing something, guys. I'm adulting. All right, they're getting there. Like I said, I have no clue how long to cook these for. I'm gonna make it so that most of them look like that one. That one looks good right there. Right there, or right there. Those are the ones we're aiming for. All right, our next little fitness break. I guess we could do some jumping jacks, maybe. Stay tuned, we'll see how they do for our next flip. I hope I'm making Sherry proud. Three miles! <laughs> Well, folks, yep, I think, think we did good. I would call this a win right here. We're gonna plop them onto our plate. We're gonna let them cool off a little bit though before we actually taste. And like I said, if you have other veggies, you are certainly There you have it folks, chaos in the kitchen on this lovely afternoon. I hope you guys have a great day. Add a few more veggies to this meal and you'll be good to go. We'll see you next time.